In my jacket class, I showed you a sample jacket that I had done a Hong Kong lining technique. And I'm making another jacket now that I've done that as I cut it out. So I wanted to show you a little bit about that. Every pattern piece was cut out and also the lining that I wanted to add to it, I added 5 eighths of an inch all around every piece. This is just three of the pieces that I've done so far. Cut out, well the rest of them were cut out, I'll say. These are the ones I wanted to show you. And I'm going to show you how to sew it onto the actual fabric. And then show you how to press it before it's all put together. Okay, the next step for each and every piece that you're going to do this Hong Kong lining technique to is you're going to pin the fabric to the lining. And you'll see that it's offset and you'll see in a minute why it's done that way. And as you can see, the pins are already in this one side that I'm about to sew. So here we go. And I'm going to sew every piece at a quarter of an inch away from the cut edge. And as always, you need your pins. As you sew, try to keep the edges even, as even as possible. side so you can see how it's offset I know my hands are in the way but you'll see pretty soon what's going on just going to put enough pins in it to make sure it holds each piece together. And then we're going to go in and sew that one. excuse any machine noise. We use industrial machinery, so it's going to be louder than any home machine that you might use. So the next step, you can see that these are not they don't match and they're not supposed to but the next step is to turn it inside out or right side out and then you'll be able to start seeing seeing what's going on with each piece it's two pieces of cotton so they kind of stick to each other because I wanted an all-cotton jacket. The outside is an African print, those wax prints that you can get. The inside or the lining side is just some broadcloth, cotton broadcloth. So as you can see, what you end up with is each piece lined and the seam edge is finished with a Hong Kong finish. My next step is to go ahead and press it. I'll show you that. Now I'm going to show you how to press each piece. What you want to do is to make sure that 
the seam, raw seam edge is out into the lining area so that you end up with a Hong Kong finish wrapped around each pattern piece. And you go on and press that side and then make sure that the other side's seam allowance is out toward the edge of where the seam is finished. And sometimes that takes a little fiddling with it to make sure. And then go on and press it flat. You don't want the edge of the seam in this direction of the pattern piece because that defeats the whole purpose of having the seam edge wrapped and finished. So you can feel it pretty much as you press it. I'm going to remove this pin so that I can go on and press that nice and flat. And since this pattern piece is shaped um, pretty much the same all the way down, I put a pin to indicate the top of the piece because there's a waistband that goes to the bottom of this and I don't want to get it confused. Next I'll show you how to stitch in the ditch to finish that piece off. So now we're back at the machine and now I'm going to stitch in the ditch to connect the two pieces because otherwise they would be loose. So here we go. Your stitch would be a 2.5 length stitch, the same one as uh, the one that you would use to connect the pieces anyway. And you would stitch in the ditch as best you can all the way down the piece to connect the lining and the garment piece that you're doing. Here's one. Here's the other side. fabrics you don't have to pin as much like these two cotton pieces are kind of sticking together so I don't have to use a lot of pins to keep them from moving around too much. So there you have it. That's how you do every piece for the Hong Kong lining technique. Hope you enjoy it. This is what happens when you sew two pieces together after you've done everything you needed to do to connect the lining and the outer fabric for your Hong Kong lining technique. I'm just sewing two pieces together at 5 eighths of an inch at a 2.5 stitch length. Just pulling my pins as I go along. to get down to the end of that seam and I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like when it's sewn together. So you've got each individual piece lined and finished each edge of the seam and all we're going to do now is press it open so you'll continue to make the garment that very same way by stitching all your seams together and then pressing them open and that's it